people actually not taking the constellation. They took the constellation and it worked maybe good. They had good experiences for a week or a month or a year and they regressed. So that's of course then interesting to me why are people regressing and what's happening. So in one instant, we did a constellation from Michael and it was a beautiful resolution of the firstborn son died early and was never really given a place in the family and then he took on the place of the firstborn and there was always struggle between the younger son and Michael and challenges within the parents and the family system so when we really when we had this uh, constellation done after a year nothing really had changed there were still the same struggles going on in the family system and then it just occurred to me you never took the constellation and he said, well, 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 what do you mean? What does it actually mean to take a constellation? So it means you actually internalize what I was doing earlier today. You really internalize what the constellation shows. You really, you really, you really honor somebody, not just through the words, but you really honor somebody. You really say thank you. You really mean it from the depth of your being. And in this case, Michael ended up looking at the grave of his older brother, who actually had a grave, the dad bought a coffin for the child that died fairly soon after birth. And, and when he really internalized this, having an older brother and being the second, actually having somebody before him, and he's not actually the first, but the second, and the first is there in front of him and he could defer some of the energy that he had carried as the first, although he wasn't the first, was burdensome to him and it also disrupted in the energy with the younger brother because he's third and not second. So strange how something so simple that we don't think about matters, hugely mattered because the relationship between the younger brother and Michael changed dramatically. They have now a real friendship where before they were always struggling. And things with the mother also shifted in a huge way. So just because we set up a constellation doesn't mean it's done. That's why I was so hard on those of you who did the constellation today. I want you to be done right now. You don't have to carry it for another year. Really, you can be done right now. And you could walk out and not be done, even though you just had your constellation set up. Or you participated all day, but you haven't done any work. You haven't taken anything from the work that was done. You could walk out and have nothing changed. So like Michael, the work was done for him. He set up this beautiful constellation with the older brother there and everyone connected, but it wasn't internalized. It actually didn't really sink in fully. And he probably didn't have permission from the mother, could be, that something in the mother from the field had to change, that he was allowed to take the position as the second because he was the first. He had to hold that space as the first. Who knows? You see, underneath the dynamics, how they are, moving. We don't know. We're operating here. We don't know what's really going on underneath. But just because we have a constellation set up doesn't necessarily mean the program is done. You actually have to do the work and really be willing to drop it and hold it and mean the sentences and be willing to stand in the not knowing. I would say <clears throat> the way I knew I had an issue was that I was continuously irritated with my mother and my brother. And my mother was an elderly, sweet, lovely southern lady who adored me. But I had always felt, without knowing it, this pressure to be both number one and number two in the other, mm -hmm. to carry the weight for my older brother as well as me. And you know, anytime I had a um, sniffle or a cold, or my mother would freak me <coughs> out. And so then I had to reassure her that I'm okay, that I'm not going to die, basically. You know? mm -hmm. So that irritation and that stuff didn't go away after the consolation. That was the tip-off. Mm -hmm. 
So after some period of time, Mark noticed this and then gave prescribed exercises for me to do. And one of them was since I was in Nashville anyway at that time, she said, Why don't you go see if your brother has a brain? And so we and we did these things, and I, there were some deliberate things that you suggested I do, and I did, and then it cleared up, and it was gone. And fortunately, I, I think my mother passed away about a year later, and then by the time she did, I was able to be totally present for her, and zero dis discomfort with my brother. And it was just such a blessing. I mean, that transformed Yeah, you're welcome. But if it doesn't change your life yeah. and the way you feel in the situation. Yeah, or there may be another piece. In that case, piece it was too. very clear, but sometimes, you know, hmm. these are like tentacles hmm. all over the place, <laughs> right? So that's why I'm saying come as often as you can. Each time you come, another tentacle kind of gets chopped off, or several tentacles get chopped off. And so there may be another piece that could also be, but in that case, it was pretty obvious this he still hadn't counted himself a second. Yeah. I just wanted to point out that yes, you come, you can do a consolation here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you actually took it and that changes will happen. The changes will happen, but you, the changes have to come from inside of you to really collapse these old ways and then it's done and then your life will change. It cannot not change.